Brandon Joshua, Deep Creek, Virginia, Chesapeake. Here we go again with chemtrail planes. March 11th, 2020. Here's our sun over here. Trying to come up once again. This is the yellow sun. Yesterday we had the white sun. Now we have the yellow sun. But these... I'm, I'm so tired of these guys spraying. They're spraying us like bugs, people. Do you realize what aluminum does to the human brain? Do you realize how many people are going to have dementia, Alzheimer's, kids with mental diseases? They're sending home stuff with, uh, with, their, with children at school, sending home paperwork for the child and the parent to sign asking if uh, 10 things you would bring to if you had to get rounded up or willingly walk yourself into FEMA camps. Some of those will be those Walmarts they have sitting around waiting for us that are turned into prisons. Temporary coffins in rural areas. One slit, one slit fill in could hold 30 to 40 bodies. Military stuff, you know, tanks, all kind of stuff getting positioned all throughout America with on railroad tracks, people filming it. Like I said, Walmart sitting around empty, sending stuff home with kids, asking them what they would do if you had to go to a, 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 a FEMA camp. What were 10 things you would bring? Do you honestly think when people, when there's a hurricane and all the, over the years when people go to these like stadiums or different kind of places for shelter, do you honestly think that when, especially if something major happened, do you honestly think they care what 10 things you bring? They will, they, you'll, you'll be allowed to walk in there with the clothes on your back and that's it. You know what I mean? A little kid might have a teddy bear, but that's it. You're not going to be coming in there with 10 things. This ain't, I mean, they're sitting home like a survivalist. And I'm going to tell you right now, these dogs ain't going to be barking like this like every day. This is going to stop. I ain't going to be able to come out here and fit, try to film the sky and hear dogs every day. That ain't going to happen. I got... I have my our dog right over here, and she's a good dog. Jewel doesn't bark and act crazy. I mean, it's insane, man. But anyway, I just wanted to show more control planes spraying us like bugs. Aluminum, strontium, barium, nanoparticulates. If you have an infrared camera, you can shine it up at, in the sky at nighttime and see literally millions of fibers flying through the air that we're breathing in that we have now been turned into antennas to where they are literally, they can watch us in our homes anywhere we're at. Our bodies put off energy and they're now literally feeding off our energy uh, connected to 5G, 6G, we're not even supposed to have the the router in your bedroom for internet can cause cancer and brain tumors. If you sleep next to a computer router, it'll cause a brain tumor or cancer, and you can die. Imagine what all these frequencies are doing to our bodies. It's literally breaking down DNA. But look at our sun. Here it is. All the trail oh, chemtrail poisons can't get through it. Here we go again every morning. All the sky, fake clouds, chemtrail planes, look at them. They're everywhere, every day. That's not contrails, people. Contrails don't last for hours and form across the sky and then interlock with each other and then have a hazy poison sky over our heads to where we can't even see stars at night. You know what I mean? The sky's turning white. I mean, they come from Norfolk Airport all the time, man. Or I don't know if they come from Norfolk Airport, but they come from that direction. But, yeah, these, this is not normal. Like I said, I need to get a good camera and a tripod so I can set stuff up and film properly without shaking and all the walking around and get rid of these dogs.